Hey everybody, Jeff Johnson, creator of UDoodle. In this quick tutorial, I will show you how to change the background of a photo while leaving a foreground element. Clover makes an appearance, my wonderful two-year-old. So let's bring her in. When you want to change the background, it's, it's very important that you start with your photo on the background, and this will become clear as we go through this tutorial. So tap File, Import, Draw on a Photo. If your UI looks a little different, update your app to 7.5 on iOS. Uh, on Android this is uh, not quite the same UI so uh, but the, all the tools are still there for this purpose so you can actually do this on Android as well. Okay so I'm gonna go other apps to get my Dropbox. Clover's photo is in Dropbox right there. I want her to be front and center so I will crop it appropriately to make sure she's center to the photo. Now the next thing you want to do is just double check that she's on the background by tapping layers. Layers? Okay good, she's on the background. Now keep in mind layers is also on this bottom scroll bar here so you can get to it that way as well. Either way, either way works. Okay, so we need to trace Clover. Uh, the white brush usually works best to outline the person. Make sure line mode is on, that really helps speed up the tracing process. And the size, you can actually, if you didn't know this, triple tap to go down. I'm going to go to two pixels. You could do one, but I'm going to do two. Uh, by the way, you can also nudge these sliders using the minus and plus sign. So if you're ever wondering how to just slightly increment, that's how you do it. Okay, let's go ahead and trace Clover. I'm going to speed this up. I'll be back in a second once I've traced her. Uh, remember, you can long tap and hold to get that preview in the top left. That really helps with the tracing process, but I'll be back in a second. All right, I'm back. I have finished tracing Clover. This looks pretty good. You can see she's got a nice white outline. Uh, Pretty much the next thing to do is go to that paint bucket, make sure it's set to black. We're going to go ahead and tap and fill in all around her. And now she is on a black background. So we need to find, figure out how to get rid of that background. See that background layer? How do we get rid of that? So the first thing we want to do is merge to foreground. Tap layers, merge to foreground. Now Clover should be on the foreground here, all by herself with a blank black background, which is nice. We need to get rid of that blackness, so let's do that. The paint bucket has a checkerboard pattern, which does a magical thing and erases instead of fills. Maybe you didn't know that, but now you do. Pretty powerful. Uh, so that's awesome. The next thing we want to do is just verify that she is now on a transparent. There we go. Beautiful. The Layers button has a Change Background option, so I'm going to pick one of the famous places from UDoodle, and let's see. So many choices. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually pick a pattern image, because that might look a little bit cooler. Maybe we will just put some nice fluffy clouds around her. That would be fun. Uh, any of these probably will work. So let's just pick this nice blue one here. That's a pretty low-res cloud image. I'm sure you have some other images that would be better patterns, but now we've got Clover with a different background. If you don't like that, just change the background to something else. And we will try one of these diamond shapes. So you can just change very rapidly, see how it looks. Uh, if you've got your own patterns, remember you can actually Google search and save images and pretty much find anything that you need. So that's how you uh, change the background of an image. Well, uh, before I go, I will actually pick one of those famous places just to see how it looks. I think that is the Taj Mahal maybe? I'm not sure. Fun! Great! So uh, see my other tutorial if you're wondering how to insert into images. Uh, that one would show you how to place Clover anywhere on this image, but if you're just looking to change the background, this is how you do it. If you want to insert, see my other tutorial about inserting uh, by removing the background 
and inserting the thing that you traced into other photos. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and email support at udoodle.net if you have questions. Be sure to save your creations on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Bye-bye.